Baba Blast. <laughs> oh, hey, Baba friends. It's me, Kyle. And this is Callie. Callie is my dog, and I love taking care of her. But it's a lot of work to take care of her. I have to feed her and bathe her and also make sure she has lots of toys. But I actually know somebody who has a lot of animals at their house. Miss Jan, have you met her? Hmm, well maybe we should go to Miss Jan's magnificent animal menagerie. New word alert, new word alert. Did you hear me say the word menagerie? Well, menagerie means a collection of animals. So we're gonna go see Miss Jan's collection of animals. Say menagerie. Very nice. All right, Callie, you're gonna stay here and keep organizing your toys, and me and our friend are gonna go to Miss Jan's magnificent animal menagerie. Here we go! Whoa, whoa! I landed right next to this huge cactus. Where's, oh, there's Miss Jan's door. Let's go see if she's home, come on. Come on. I hope she's home. <gasps> Hi, oh, Miss Jan. Hello. How are you? I'm doing so good. What are you doing? This is my friend. <gasps> Hi, how are you? I was just telling them about all of your amazing animals oh. and we were hoping we could see some of them. Oh, you're giving away secrets. <laughs> I am, a little bit. <laughs> you can hear one of them barking right I can't, now, can we right? come inside? Uh, absolutely, I'd love that. Come all on right, let's in, go. come on in. Oh look, how? here's a turtle already. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're gonna find lots of friends awesome. around this place. Oh my gosh, and look over here. Sorry Miss Jan, I'm already <laughs> going in your house. Look at this big horse statue. You wanna ride him? I don't, will it fit me? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might break it. You would actually be perfect to ride on this. This used to be on a merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Have you been on a merry-go-round before? Nice, really cool. Do you have anything else to show us, Mr. Oh, Jan? come on, there's all kinds. I mean, there's horses all over the place. Oh, yeah. Right, and there's roosters, and there's birdies. <laughs> Really cool. Come look at this. <laughs> this one's just a little bit smaller, but it would still be perfect for some kids to ride on. Really cool. And who is this here lounging? Cassie. This is Cassie the Crazy Cowgirl. Oh. And this is her favorite toy. Really cute. Hi, guys. <laughs> Well, Miss Jan has real animals living in her backyard. <laughs> so we're gonna go see some of them right now. Miss Jan, can you show us to their first animal? I'm so excited. Oh my God. Let's go look. Come on, I'm so glad you're here. Me too. So Kyle, what do you wanna see today? Last time I was here, I saw a really big tortoise. Oh, Is he out? Maybe. All right. Maybe. And then I'd also love to show you guys some chickens and maybe even a donkey if we're lucky. Let's go see the tortoise first. Kyle, ask Cassie to get her favorite toy. Hey Cassie, get your favorite toy. Get your toy. Go get your toy. Go get your toy, Cassie. Oh, good girl! <laughs> You're so good. Oh, very nice. I love it. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> good girl. Sometimes the dogs are really excited. They like to bark. Roof, 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 roof. Here you go, Cassie. You're so fun, Cassie. Gotcha. gotcha. Let's keep going to see the turtle. Gotcha. Let's go. Come on, Cassie. Now, is this a turtle or a tortoise? So this is a tortoise. This is a, well, we have two tortoises. One is a desert tortoise. Okay. And right now, this time of year, the tortoise is hibernating. So I get really sad around October because the desert tortoise goes under the ground and stays there until May. So pretty soon he'll be wow. coming up and his name is Mr. Wilson. And what does it mean when an animal is hibernating? That means they literally go to sleep for six to eight months. Everything slows down, their heart rate slows down. It's almost like they're dead. Wow. Because everything slows down 
And then in the springtime, when the weather is nice and warm, then they wake up they again. They come out and they're real slow until they get their metabolism working, and then they're off and running for the summer. Wow! And then October, back Miss to Jan, sleep. Miss Jan cries oh, because she doesn't oh, no. want Mr. Wilson to go away. <laughs> yeah, now you probably sleep over at nighttime, which is maybe six, seven, eight hours. Imagine sleeping for six months. I would That's love that. That's a long time. I you would, would love, love that. that. All right, let's go see this tortoise that sleeps so much. Cassie, you go play with your favorite toy. We'll be back in a little bit, Cassie. So, Come on. there's a lot of things going on around here. Oh, oh, look who's at the hay buffet. Oh. oh. Look who's at the Come hay here. buffet. Oh. The hay buffet in there. Go look. Oh, wow! That's Frankie, Kyle. Hi, Frankie. You're, oh, he sees me. Hi. Maybe I can feed him some of this hay. Do you want some? Hi. Oh, he's coming over to see me. Hi. You like oh, my shoes? Oh, he wants your shoes. Oh, oh he's, he's going after yellow. my shoes. He thinks they're small. <laughs> He, that's okay, he's being gentle. He thinks they're yummies. He thinks it's Here. squash. What about this? Don't bite my hand, but bite now this. Watch his, yeah, watch, watch his teeth. Yeah, I know, here. Look there that. you go, Good yay! Job. Wow. That's, now, that is a sulcata tortoise, Kyle, and he is going to grow and grow and grow. When we got him, he was the size of a dollar. He was, the, he was only this that big. big. And now look how big he is and he's got a beautiful shell. How much do you think this tortoise weighs? Do you think it weighs more than 50 pounds? What about more than 100 pounds? What about more than 120 pounds? Frankie weighs 130 pounds. Oh look, and now he wants to eat the blaster to get you even more weight over there, huh? This is a really, really big tortoise. Miss Jan just said that Frankie loves getting baths and he's looking pretty sandy and dusty. I think it's time that we give him a bath. All right, well, let's go give him a bath. I got this carrot to bring Frankie over so we can give him a nice big bath. You're almost there, Frank. Here you go. Oh, are you going back to get your hay? Come over here. There you go. Look at that. Here he goes. Watch him. Watch him. Here he goes. Here you go. There. Oops, <laughs> I dropped it. It's on the ground. Look. It's better than you dropped there. it. There. All right. I think he's ready for his bath, Miss Jan. Here we go. Here comes the water. Ooh. See, just like you, Frankie has to get a bath sometimes. And this will make sure his shell stays very clean and his big feet don't get fully compacted with dust and sand and dirt. His shell feels really, really hard like a table or a chair. Miss Jan, can I touch Frankie's foot over here? You sure can. All right, I wanna see what his foot feels like. Oh, his foot is actually pretty firm too, but it's a little softer than his shell. See this yucky mud right there? Let's get it off his back. There we go. Now he's looking really <laughs> clean. I didn't know tortoises could move so fast. Hi. Did you like your bath? Or are you just looking for more food? Well, tortoise baths are really easy. You just have to get all the dust off and then you're done. I think he's going back to the hay buffet to get more food. Go take a look.
A sulcata tortoise like Frankie is the third largest species of tortoise in the entire world. Sulcata tortoises can live more than 50 years, and they're known as herbivores. That means they eat grasses, weeds, cactus, and a lot of hay. Now Frankie is a type of tortoise, which is different than a turtle. Do you know the differences between turtles and tortoises? Here you go, Frankie. He wants the whole bowl. Well, there's lots of differences, but one of the major differences is that, oh, here, you just want all that? There you go. He wants his whole salad at once. One of the major differences between a turtle and a tortoise is that turtles spend some of the time in the water. They're really adapted to life in the water, where tortoises spend most of their time on the land. Look at them go to town on that green salad. Remember, if you want to be big and strong like Frankie and live a really long time, eat your vegetables. Frankie ate his entire salad already, and he's still hungry. Looks like we need to give him some more salad. Thanks, Blaster. Let's let Frankie eat the rest of his salad and go see more of Miss Jan's magnificent animal menagerie. Miss Jan, thank yeah. you so much for letting us meet Frankie. Thank you. Do you have any more animals we can meet? Oh, let's see. Well, have you ever met 17 chickens? 17 chickens? Uh -huh. No, I've never met 17 chickens. All girls? <laughs> I've never met 17 <laughs> chickens any time in my life. You want to meet them? I do. They're really beautiful. All right, well, let's go. They're good girls. All right, come on. Actually, Miss Jan, Yes. I uh, can handle that part. Here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, Whoa. we're in the we're in your chicken coop. <laughs> that was an experience. Now there are 17 chickens here and they're all called hens. Why are they called hens? Because they're girls. Oh, so hens, hens are girls. And the boys are roosters. And the boy but there are no boys here. No boys here. Girls we, only here in the chicken coop. Because we love good farm fresh eggs. Yes, they we do give do. a lot of eggs. Yeah. Now I would like to feed the chickens on their chicknet table. <laughs> well, we all love picnic tables, yes. but the girls love chicknick tables. All right, well, let's go over here and feed these chickens. This is my first time at a chicknick table. Have you ever heard of a little picnic table for chickens? Let's see if they like their lunch. Oh, here they come. Hi, everybody. Oh, this one's walking on top of the table. Hi. Let's see if any of them will eat out of my hand. Here you go. Oh, they're a little scared. It's okay. This one's standing in all the food. <laughs> Funny. There you go. Oh, almost. Hi, ladies. This lettuce and corn is just some of what these chickens eat. They also eat pellets and drink lots of water. Miss Jan has this kiddie pool filled with sand so the chickens can come in here anytime they want and kick up the sand and it goes into their feathers to make sure no bugs or gross mud is sticking up there. So it's kind of cool that these chickens, hi, oh, it's letting me pet them. These chickens actually take baths in sand and not water. Hi, I was just showing them your bath. Yes, that's my friend. That's right, we came to visit you and I was just showing them how you take a bath. It's very nice. Oh, thanks for letting me touch you. Did you see this one's hair on the top of its head? It has feathers that are going all sorts of directions. Come get a closer look, I want you to see this. 
Look at this one's really fluffy head. There's also one to your left. Look to your left. There, do you see that fluffy one? Look at how big those feathers are coming out of its head. I think those hens look pretty cool. Miss Jan, I love the chicknick table. And I think it's so funny that chickens bathe in sand. Don't you? Yeah, no, I use water. Oh, Yeah, okay. I use water in my shower. <laughs> now, what else do chickens have? So, the greatest thing about chickens is they lay, they lay a perfect meal. Oh. They lay eggs, and I very rarely eat the eggs because I'm always giving them away. Oh, you're so, so nice. So I have a little container, Kyle, for you to take home if we can find some eggs. Okay, All right. So should we go hunting? Let's go egg uh, hunting! <laughs> Here we go! Please help me find the eggs that the hens laid last night. We get to take these home with us. Come on! Do you see any in here? No. What about in here? I don't see any. What about in here? That's right, there's one. Let's grab it. Ooh, a nice beige white one. Can you see any in here? Oh yeah, a brown one. Good job, good eye. Look at this brown one. They come in different colors. How many are in here? There's one in the back, one in front. There's two, a brown one and another white one. Ooh. Remember, eggs are fragile, so we have to be delicate. Do you see any in here? I don't. Let's see if there's any more on the other side. Come on. Let's go up here. Look, these chickens, to get all the way up there, have to climb up this ladder. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And somehow, they make it from here to these other coops. Let's see if there's any eggs in them. Can you see any eggs in here? Come, come look. There's two of them. Another brown one. And this one, which is a little green. Have you ever seen a light green egg before? Mm. Oh, and here's another one in here. I wonder which chicken laid this egg. Oh, and there's one more in the back. I think we got them all. Let's go show Miss Jan the eggs we got. Miss Jan, I went around the entire you coop, did great. and me and them found That's two, four, six, wow. eight chicken eggs. Oh my gosh, I know. These are beautiful. And you notice the different colors. Kyle. I did notice them. So every breed of chicken lays a different color egg. Oh. So the blue ones, the blue green ones, are laid by Americanas. And those are the ones with whiskers. See the whiskers right here? Oh yeah. That's an Americana. And then the the uh, brown ones, a lot of different chickens lay brown eggs. Got it. So you know, so you can sh pick and choose because yeah. most of them. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And then some of them lay white. But I want to give you guys a tip on how to store eggs once All you right. bring them home, even if you buy them at the store. This is a great tip for you to tell your mom, dad, or whoever's in charge of the kitchen on how to store eggs. It's true, because you want the eggs to stay fresh for a really long time, and the way to do that is you take the tippy part of the egg, turn it upside down, and that's how you store it. And the reason why is because every egg has about 15,000 pores. So that means stuff from the refrigerator comes in and can make the eggs a little bit older. Got quicker. it. So this is the smallest point of the egg, so you want to go down like that, and that way it's protected by the container. Perfect. And it doesn't have a lot of air. Tippy point, point, point it down. down. That's how you store your eggs. Yep. Well, thanks, Miss Jan. That's a big one. Yes, wow. she did really good on that These one. are beautiful. You're going to enjoy these for breakfast. I can't wait. Omelette. Now, do the chickens always stay in the chicken coop? Oh, no. Oh, they don't? The world is their oyster. Ooh, well, let's let the chickens out of the coop and see where they go off an adventure. Yay! Now it's time to let the chickens out of the chicken coop. Let's count down from three. Ready? Three, 
two, here they come, one, chickens! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's fast. Nine, 10 with the cool hair, 11, 12, 13, cool hair. 14 with some lettuce, 15, 16, more cool hair. You're the last one. Do you want to come out or stay in the chicken coop? <laughs> that one wants to stay in the chicken coop. He's being silly. That's okay. It's also really cool in the chicken coop. Let's go see what the other chickens are doing. Look over there. All the chickens have had so much fun running around Miss Jan's farm. But now it's time for them to go back in the coop so we can go meet another animal. So let's go help Miss Jan get these chickens back in the coop. Come on, in the coop. We got one in. Here we go, another one. There we go. Yeah! Here they come. We got a crazy hair one back in the coop. Here we go. Here we go. In the coop. In the coop. Yeah, we're getting more and we're doing it. Oh my gosh, there's chickens everywhere. Yeah, that one got in the coop too. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 in the, 12 in the coop. There's five more that haven't gone in yet. Oh, I see them, they're out here. Oh, they can fly, come on, here we go. Back in the cup. Back in the cup. Let's go. Kyle, you're doing great. Thanks, Miss Jan. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, let's go. In the coop. Come on. No, oh. <laughs> we got another one in the coop. <laughs> There's only these two left. These are the two chickens left. All right, keep going. There you go. Hi. No, no. It's hard taking care of animals. We just, oh, and now these are escaping over here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a long time. Here they come. Look, Miss Jan's got them. Come on. Come on. Chop, 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 Two, Two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I counted 17, but I'm gonna count them again just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Your number 15, 16, 17. We did it! All the chickens are back in their coop! Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Do you have a dog at home or do you know somebody with a dog? Well, I bet that that dog goes on a lot of walks. And guess what? If you have a donkey in your house, 
the donkey has to go on walks too. So Miss Jan is gonna help us take her donkey on a walk. Let's go meet the donkey, come on. Oh, I see it. There's the donkey right here. Miss Jan, I found your donkey. Hi, Kyle. This is Salvatore the Sicilian burro. Oh, a burro. There's a little Excuse mini, me. mini donkey. A little mini Sweetie. donkey. He is the sweetest, sweet, hi. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Look at that face. Look at that face. Mwah. Burro kisses. He's really, really friendly. They love to walk. Um, you can overfeed them because they used to work a lot. Mm. Now they're just kind of pets. Yeah. So we have to take them for a walk so that he'll stay nice and trim. All right. Well, let's put this big red leash on. Yeah. And Kyle, you know what Salvi loves what? to do? He loves you to put your fingers right there and rub his soft In his ears? Try it. They're so soft. Aren't they so soft? Do you want to see inside their ear? Look. It's very soft and dark. Very cool, Miss Jan. Salvatore's got his cool red leash, and now we're going to go out into the street and walk him around in the neighborhood. Have you ever seen a donkey walking around a neighborhood? <laughs> Let's go, Miss Jan. Come, Come on, on Salvatore. Come on, buddy. I got carrots for you, too. <laughs> Stay healthy on our walk. Come on. Good oh, very boy. good. Kyle, you do, you're doing a great job walking the donkey. Thanks. It's really fun to walk a donkey. It's kind of like walking a dog. They're just a lot bigger. Look, I'm good for it. Very nice. All right, come on, let's go. What would you do if you saw a donkey walking down the street? Oh yeah, we're walking a donkey. Oh yeah, we're walking a donkey. Oh yeah, we're walking a donkey. I like walking donkeys. This is a good workout for me too. I think we should just give him a carrot as a little treat for doing so good on his walk. Here you go. Did you know that burros, which are also sometimes called donkeys, belong to the same family as horses and zebras? That's right, they belong to the equity family. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm thinking that walking donkeys is super cool. We made it back to Miss Jan's ranch and did so good on the donkey walk. Let's put him back home. Come on, Salvatore.
Here you go, Salvatore. Bye, Bye Salvi. Bye. Thanks for going on a walk with us. And thank you for being a part of that walk. It's so much more fun when you're here to see and learn about all of these cool animals that Miss Jan has. Next week, Miss Jan is going to show us even more animals. But I hope this time you had a ba ba blast. See you next week. Ba ba blast. <laughs>